We'll start this video on setting up cameras by first looking at the image source DFK cameras that came with the Hunter on Access 2, Access DH, and early Access DH2 probers. Notice here in the prober tab that we have the DFK type camera. Then you can go ahead and click and drag the prober pane out into the area, make it larger, and we'll start by selecting the live button. This will allow us to make an adjustment to the focus because notice how the image is out of focus. So we suggest that you adjust your aperture down to the lowest setting at 1.4. And then from there, go ahead and adjust the focus ring to achieve the sharpest focus possible. Once you have sharp focus on your image, you can go ahead and adjust the f-stop on your camera back to a higher level such as f4. This will give you better depth of field. If you click on the properties button, this allows you to make the changes to the DFK camera. The exposure tab has the most useful settings such as brightness, contrast, and exposure. And we suggest that you do not, do not use the auto functions. So once you make your settings, you click the update and apply buttons, click OK, and then you can see the result of those changes. If you need to make further changes, just click on the properties button and adjust those settings as needed. Here in the properties, you can also adjust color settings, but we recommend that you do not adjust these unless you really need to change the color cast in the image. You can also adjust sharpness, gamma, and denoise in the image, but the most useful are all in the Exposure tab. Next we'll look at the settings for the Pixelink cameras which are on the newer Access DH2 probers. We suggest that you turn the cabinet light off using the toolbar button. This gives you a more controlled environment. We also suggest that you shut the door on the cabinet, again, to reduce light coming in from outside sources. In the prober pane, go to your camera tab and you navigate the camera over to the circuit card so you have a view of something on the circuit card that has good light versus dark objects on the card. These pads on this green board area work really well. The autofocus works better on images like this. So we'll start by adjusting the brightness of the ring light. The ring lights on the Access DH2 are quite strong, so the brightness never needs to be set very high. Next we'll switch to the camera tab. And here you have the ability to focus the image, change your gain or exposure. Here you can adjust the manual focus, or if you prefer, use the autofocus function. Again, if you have objects on the circuit card that have great contrast, the autofocus works better. So we suggest that you adjust the gain. This has probably the most dramatic effect on the image is it changes the brightness by quite a bit. There's an auto function there available as well. Changing the exposure essentially changes your uh, capture speed. The effect there is not too dramatic. You have the ability to change the gamma, which has a large effect on the contrast of the image, so you generally have the gamma set fairly low. If you get it too high, it could look slightly washed out. You also have the ability to change the color cast in the image, but we recommend you do not change these unless you really need to. Changing the white balance or saturation can have an unattended effect on the image. Once you like your image, you can go ahead and save those settings, and you can always load them later on if you need them. Now we'll go ahead and switch to the Prober tab and select the Z2 camera. Because of the different position of the Z2 camera in the cabinet, it can have a slightly different camera view. So we have to make separate adjustments for that camera. We'll move the camera out over the circuit card again to a location that gives us good contrast. We're looking for light objects on a dark background. 
We can adjust the ring light again. Now we'll switch to the camera tab and we'll use the autofocus to adjust the camera focus. Once again, we'll adjust the gain setting. What we're again, we're looking forward to is to achieve good contrast and brightness. And we'll also adjust the gamma setting. Again, we want to look for good contrast. Now the Z2 camera sometimes is always appears a little bit darker. And if you can't make up the difference in brightness we're using the settings here, you can always go to the Prober tab and adjust the intensity of the ring light by adjusting the brightness setting. And we'll move that up a couple of steps. Once you have your settings done, you can save that and they'll be available to load later on if needed. There's always more information available on the Huntron website at Huntron.com. Please check out the other videos on our YouTube channel and of course, as always, thank you for watching.